This video is brought to you by Antium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Get the free copy of Altium software using the link provided in this video description. Plus, when you sign up for an Altium Designer free trial, you will get Altium 365 and 25% off discount. Hi guys, welcome again to another video. Today, I'm going to show you on how to design a UR2RS232 RJ45 serial adapter. So here's the actual PCB. And here's the final schematic. So let's get started. First, you should have a project PCB file. Just click on File, New, then Project. Then you can set here the project name. For this case, let's copy this one. And this is where you want to save your folder. Then click Create. Once you have a project PCB file, next we're going to create a schematic document. Just click on File, New, then Schematic. Now we need to adjust also the sheet template. Just click on Properties, then click on Custom. Then this where we can adjust the width and the height of our sheet template. So I shrink the size of the sheet template since we have a small circuit. Next, we're going to use a library loader. So here's the version I am using, version 2.2. Then we're going to put here each manufacturer part number of the components. Next, we're going to create a schematic library and a PCP library. Just click on File, New, Library, then Schematic Library. Next, save this one. Save it to the same folder. Then create again for PCB library. Click on File, New, Library, then PCB library. Again, save this one. You can see here in the project panel, Here's the created PCB library and schematic library. Next, go back again to the schematic document and click the library loader. Then, this will be the bomb list for this project. So, we're just gonna copy the part number of each component and paste it to the library loader. So, let's copy this one. And paste it to the library loader. So just click search and wait for it to load. Then here's the result. Just click this one and click add to design. Now it will automatically add it on your library. Here's for the schematic library. And this one also for the PCB library. So just repeat the same process in other components. Just make sure if you're using the library loader, you're on the schematic dock. After we finish all the libraries, now we're going to add this on the schematic dock. Go back again to the schematic document and click on components. Now we're gonna drag these components in the schematic sheet. Next, we're going to connect each component using wire. So click on place then wire just click on the other end of the component to its designated connection i also added the power ports here the ground and the vcc supply so in order to add the power port just click again on place then power port then just press tab on your keyboard to access the properties and in the style, this is where you can adjust or modify if what style do you want. So power ground and a bar. I also added a directives which is the no ERC. So just click on place, directives and generic no ERC. 
So I put this on the pins that has no connection. Now this is the finished schematic. This is the final connections. Next we're going to add this on the PCB. Let's create first a PCB. Click on file, new, then PCB. After that go back again to schematic document and click on design and update PCB document. Now this will be the component placement and now we can start the routings. Now the remaining unrouted nets are the ground and the supply. So we're just gonna pour the top layer by the by ground and the bottom layer will be the supply. Now we're done with the layout. As you can see on the top layer, the ground nets has been poured by the polygon. So in the bottom layer, the VCC is poured by the polygon. So this is the final PCB in 3D view. Now we're done with the designing of UR to RS232 RJ45 serial adapter. Thank you for watching.